What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. In today's video we are going to do a full body workout. Why Liam? Why are we going to do that? Because we want to. I'm my good friend Cam, the cameraman over here. He's going to be joining in helping me film today. So let's get into today's workout. Right guys, so what we're going to be doing today is basically a compound movement for every single muscle group. Just mixing it up a little bit, we're going to start off with some bench press, we started off with 40 kilos, then up that to 70, we've lowered the weight ever so slightly, just so we can make the most out of the workout and really focus on getting some quality reps all the way throughout. After bench press, we're gonna move on to a leg exercise, then we're gonna move on to a back exercise, then a shoulder exercise, and then we'll see how it goes. We might finish off with some arms. Right guys, so second movement of the day is leg press. What we've done is actually lower it slightly, again, because we're doing so many compounds within this session today. So we're doing leg press, really focusing on that negative, that concentric part of the motion, and then explode it back up to the top, being careful not to fully lock out at the top of the motion as well, just to protect those knees a little bit more. Longevity is the most important part of training, guys. This is a journey, this is a lifetime experience that you're gonna go through. So take your time, try your best not to injure yourself, and that's it, really. <laughs> Third compound of the day is bent over rows, something I've not done for a long time, not properly anyway. So again, shocking the muscles, making the most out of the workout, really focusing on pulling from the elbows, keeping the tension on the back. What I've also done is put my thumb over the top of the bar, which is gonna minimize the use, uh, the use of the forearm and the bicep. Really focusing on keeping the contraction on the back, making the most out of the sets. Fourth and final compound of the day is, as you can see behind me here, is overhead press. What I've done is lower it to 40 kilos. I normally do 60, but I've actually lowered it to 40, just to focus on that negative, that concentric part of the motion. Yet again, guys, and almost I kind of bring it down to almost touch my chest, because half repping on overhead press is my biggest pet peeve in the gym. People tend to stack on as much weight as possible just so they can look like the biggest guy in the gym, and actually they're only doing half rep coming down to like their, their mouth when they really need to come down an extra good few inches to, just to get the full range of motion and get the most out of the movement. I've said that lots of times throughout this workout, guys, but it's true. Focus on that concentric part of the motion and then exploding back at the top. So once you've brought it down, got that full range of motion, take a pause, one, two, and explode back up to the top, guys. Next isolation movement we're gonna do is some tricep push downs. Really focusing on keeping that elbow locked to the side, really keeping the focus on the triceps, not swaying or anything like that. We're not cheating, you're only cheating yourselves, guys. If you're swaying and moving your elbow and everything like that, then just lower the weight, drop the ego and drop the weight. Focus on that contraction and make the most out of the movement. Hey, Cam, Cam, that's 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 a nice t-shirt, yeah, that. I know. That's nice. Got it off us, YouTube, don't I? Is that I heard they are really, really good quality t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. And I heard there might be some new ones coming out soon. Final exercise of the day is a bicep tricep superset. You guys have seen this so much on the channel recently. It's a really good movement that leaves you leaving the gym with a full arm pump. Feeling really good, got all those positive endorphins flowing around your body, makes you feel good about when you're in the gym. So that is why I love it. Again, same as earlier, taking the time with the movement, keeping that elbow nice and still, really keeping the tension on the bicep, and the same with the tricep as well, guys. Reducing that weight just a little bit so we can focus on it, just to burn out at the end of the workout as well. So that is gonna conclude the workout and conclude this part of the video, guys. Had a great session, actually the best pump for a, for a long time, just whole body, all work, like upper body, lower body, everything just worked really, really well, especially with that pre-workout as well, added to the pump. So let's get on with the rest of the video. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed that last section of the video. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I see the comment. So we're actually in the car now on the way to KFC. Why? Because we want to. I'm actually at Charlotte's house. I'm no longer in Melton. I'm in Birmingham again. Why? Because I want to. So here we go, guys. the channel this is my home gym so I know there's been a lot of new subscribers lately uh, post body power and everything like that I know it was a while ago but we have had a big boost in subscribers since body power so thank you so much to you guys because that is all down to you because of that uh, so what I wanted to do just to finish off today's video is give you guys a few little updates kind of just no, let you know what's going on because I haven't actually done it for a little while. So one thing I wanted to tell you, I've not actually spoken about it on the YouTube channel. I've worn the t-shirt a couple of times and stuff, but I actually have a limited edition. This is going to be only for summer. It's summer's limited edition, red 
Emblem T, as you guys can see here. That is going to be available very, very soon, and I'm actually taking pre-orders on it now, just to get a kind of a general kind of idea as to how many to order. So that if you're new to business, it's, lot, it's like, I guess it's kind of a business, isn't it? So if you're new to business, I would definitely recommend sort of doing a little bit of research and just not jumping into it too much and just biting off a little bit more than you can chew. I know a lot of people get too excited, order so many things and then they just don't sell them and it ends up as wasted money. So this is perfect for me, the way I do it right now. Um, and I enjoy, it, I enjoy it and it's working. So as, as well as that guys, we actually have another LSJ hat launch. That is, they are gonna be coming a little bit later because the samples have been a little bit delayed, but I have a red one coming, green one, and another sort of faded black, which is really, really cool because anyone who knows me knows that hats are my thing. I don't know if you leave a comment down below. I wear a hat in 9 out of 10 videos, I would say. So let me know, guys, your thoughts on those kind of things. Uh, and also, I have one more little cool update for you. So they sent me the books, and as you can see, there's a fair amount here. Like, this is for level 2 and level 3. So this is the level 2 fitness... Uh, instruction. If you guys have seen any kind of the, like any of those qualifications or anything before, then you need the level two to be able to work in a gym and level three to be able to be an official sort of personal trainer. So obviously the end goal is for me to become a personal trainer so I can give you guys personal training plans. So these workbooks here, these three, and I mean if you ask me, just these three, that's, that's not a lot of work is it really? for an entire qualification, which means that you could get a job in a gym. So if you're looking to get started in the fitness industry, get a job in, in the fitness sort of, just in that environment, then I would recommend, definitely recommend Lifetime because, I mean, so far so good for me. My experience has been really good. They've been up to date, uh, giving me calls from tutors, uh, explaining everything like that. So couldn't recommend any more, guys. So that is where I'm gonna round off today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update before we finish. I've not really talked about LSJ Fitness uh, specifically, other than wearing the clothes in my videos. Uh, I've not really talked about it specifically, so I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of an update. Stay tuned on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything like that, using the links below. Uh, I give you constant updates every single day. I post every single day on all of those now. So as I say, guys, that is going to round off today's video. So thank you so much if you made it this far. Leave a like and a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Wish me luck on the PT course, guys. I'm working hard and I'm doing this for you guys. So thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.